I want to talk for a few minutes here about a little common fault that occurs um, in the short game and actually on the full swing. And, and um, I'm going to show you something you can do, kind of a little check system here to check you're making sure you're doing it right. And we get this question a lot and we get this comment a lot. But basically what it is is that people work on their golf, work on their grip. They work on their, you know, when they're working on their swing, it could be a, a, you know, like a, a short game shot, it could be a pitch, a chip, or even a full swing shot. They're working on their grip. And then when they start making it, when they start swinging the club, they're doing the same error, having the same errors, and they, they can't figure out why. So, for example, let's say they, they had a very strong grip when they hit a pitch, okay? So they set up over a pitch, and they had a grip that was rotated to the right, and then we have, and when they hit that shot, it closes up the face. You know, on a full swing, you might hook it. On a, a pitch, you might close it up, and we'll go to the left. So we adjust their grip. You know, we set up with, you know, put a good grip on the club, and then they take it back, they hit the shot, and they do the exact same thing. And they look at you and like, well, what's going on? It obviously wasn't a grip issue. And then so I, I sit there and say, and I say this a lot, I say, you might be milking the club. And they look at me like I'm crazy. In fact, I had a webinar last night and I was talking, somebody asked this exact question on the webinar and I said, you might be milking the club. And every one of my staff and, and even the person on and, and the other end, and the end with the question is like, what are you talking about? Well, this is what milking the club is, or it's kind of a, a raw, raw version of what it's called. So basically what it is in a full swing or a short game shot, when you set up over a shot, you, you have a certain grip on the club. You have a certain hold of it. And that hold of the club, so the hold of the club that you have is in relationship to the club head. So there's a feel. So right now when I set up over this shot, this club head, the way this club head is balanced and weighted in the feel is set to the hold of the club. So if I take and I move my hands to the left, and you can do this at home, or if I move them to the right, it changes the entire feel or the balance of the club. So it feels different according to how I hold the club. Okay. So hopefully, if you're a decent or good golfer or any golfer, you've got a good grip to a square club head face. Well, if you don't, and let's say it's strong, so it's rotated to the right, if you don't, well, you'll have to make some type of compensation impact to make up for a face that's going to close with a strong grip. Well, here's what happens. The body understands the feel. It understands the concept of this club head relationship to the hands. So, and this happens very, very common. It very, happens a lot. Somebody will set up, we make an adjustment in their grip. Now, when they take the club to the back, they reshift their hands in the backswing. So they change their hands back to the way it was, or close to the way it was, now they come back to impact. So we call that milking the club. They're changing the grip in the backswing, or even in the takeaway. And for a lot of people that this occurs, they don't know what's occurring. They have no idea it's occurring. So here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna, if you work on your grip, and you think you might be milking the club, okay, or changing the grip in the backswing, you're gonna do a double check. And this is what you're gonna, how you're gonna double check. You're gonna set up and you're gonna check to make sure your grip's on the club perfect when you set up. Then you're gonna hit the shot, and when you get done, you're gonna check it again. Okay, and so what I'm gonna do here is, and I'm gonna show you a good check system. I'm gonna put the club out in front of me, and right now, my wrist, my back of my hand is flat, my wrist is relatively flat, and the leading edge of the club is flat. So right now, that's a square club face to the back of my hand. If that club's up in the air, so that toe's up in the air, and I put my hand up there, that's a strong grip, that's a strong, that's a strong grip rotated to the right, okay? If it's down, it's a weak grip. So I'm gonna check that every single time. Now I'm gonna set up. In this one, I'm not gonna milk the club. I'm gonna set up. Hit the shot, I'm gonna put it back, it's perfect. So I check it before and after, okay? Now what I'm gonna do on this one is I'm gonna milk the club. I'm gonna show you what you see quite often. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it back, I'm gonna put a good grip on it, I'm gonna take it back and I'm gonna check after, I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna set up with a good grip, I take it back, I hit. Now, I put the hands up, guess what? That toe is way up in the air. It's supposed to be flat. So in my backswing, I changed the way I held the club. And for a lot of people, they're not going to feel this, but the body is trying to react to the feel of that club head versus their normal grip, which they're trying to change. It might not be a good grip, and they milk it in the backswing, okay? So it's a really good, so the way to do this, if you think you might be changing your grip in the swing or milking the club, the way to do it is check your grip on setup, take a swing, then check your grip after setup. I showed you a quick grip check here. You can do it when you're setting up over it. Check it before and after. Don't take your hands off the club. Now, that's exactly why 
We actually created a training grip club. The reason we created a training grip club is because the way it's molded keeps your hand in that position. This will not allow you to milk the club in the swing. We want a training grip on there that you're swinging again and again and again because this bevel on the top and the flat side keeps you from milking or changing the grip in the backswing. That's a big deal, okay? So again, try it. If you think you might be changing your grip in your backswing, we call it milking the club. If you think you might be doing that, take it. Hit, take, check your grip before, take the swing, check your grip after. If it's the same before and after, you're doing a good job, there's something else going on your swing. If you're changing your grip, dramatically work on keeping those hands in the same position every single time. You might consider getting some type of training grip club or something like this to help you keep your hands in the same spot every time before, during, and after the swing. So good luck with that. Check and make sure the grip's on there every time and let us know what else we can do for you.